All right, Caden Johnson, Ryan Bloom, big for Glenwood tonight and a win over St. Albert. Uh, gentlemen, it was a very hard-fought game. You guys are able to pull away, though, uh, move one step closer to a conference title. Just your thoughts on tonight? Uh, we started off pretty slow. We need to improve defensively, move the ball a little more. Uh, mainly that fourth quarter, we really went on 22 to 9 run, and that set, set the tone, set the game well. Yeah, you know, we didn't, didn't start the game hot as we wanted to, but, you know, we're some tough-fought guys, and we'll go to war any day to the end, and that's what we did tonight, pull it out. Caden, you've been really a spark defensively throughout the year. Uh, you know, it was evident the other night. It's been evident most of the season. Just kind of what's your mentality defensively? Uh, coach just giving me a goal to set, hold my opponent to however many points, and that just kind of drives me, motivates me. My teammates calling out screens really big, just keeping me connected on my guy and keeping him within the limit. Ryan, couldn't get a lot going outside throughout the night. Really had to be able to, to take it to the dish. Uh, talk about that and how you were able to adapt on the fly. Yeah, you know, any given night you may not make a shot, so, you know, you just got to go with what's going for you. And then, you know, they were giving me lanes, so I was going to take them. You had, I'd say, the play of the game there, the end of the third, a three to tie it, and then you guys go on a big run there in the fourth. Just take us through the final moments of the third. Yeah, I knew we were down three, and uh, I didn't know what they were going to do, if they were going to double at the end or nothing, but, you know, they gave me a little space, and I was able to make the shot. What does a win like this do confidence-wise, knowing you guys have some, some big games coming up? It's a team that's, I'd say, a lot better in their record and really gave you guys a run, but you are able to finish. Yeah, uh, we came out, like I said, pretty flat. We knew what we had to do defensively. Started out not really doing it, but that second half we really set the tone and went on a run. We won the game. So, yeah, a win like this will just motivate you to be better at practice every day and uh, just keep building on what we got right now. Because you know we're gonna we're gonna give it our best shot here in the late postseason. I think 30 points for you tonight, Ryan. Uh, is this just kind of an expectation of yours to come out and be able to to have the high scoring nights you have, or what is it? Uh, you know, it's just doing what my teammates need me to do to get the win at the end of the day. You know, I'm not going to go out and try and score 30 a night, but if that's what happens for us to win, then I'm going to go do it. All right, Coach, uh, a good St. Albert team gave you guys a run tonight, but you finish strong and get another win. Your thoughts? Tell you what, uh, it's a very athletic St. Albert team, very, very, very solid team. And, and uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great battle tonight by uh, both teams. Um, I felt... Uh, we were a little sluggish in the in the first half, but uh, you know, defensively, I thought we picked things up the second half and, and did some really good things. Yeah, what was the defensively you guys were able to do? Well, our, our intensity, our, our ball pressure was better. Um, our help side defense was much better. Um, you know, uh, we closed out on shooters, so uh, did did just a, a lot of good things. They were up three late. Looked like maybe they were going to play for the last shot of the third. Didn't. You guys end up getting a big three from Ryan to tie it, then going around in the fourth. Looking back on it now, how huge was that three at the gun? Oh, huge momentum going in the fourth quarter. Uh, Ryan hit that huge three there right at the buzzer, and, and uh, the fourth quarter was all ours. I, I believe we went on a 22-9 to nine run. Um, you know, we had nine offensive boards uh, the second half, and, and uh, you know, the, the fourth quarter was really a – uh, really pleased with with their effort. Yeah, I think it was a twenty to four run at one point there in the heart of it. What was it that really kind of meshed during that run? Well, I mean, we uh, we just really fed off that three going in the fourth, and and uh, you know it, that was a big conference game tonight. You know that that puts us, uh, you know, uh, uh, we're tied with Atlantic, and the kids the kids were uh, pretty excited for that fourth quarter to come out and and uh, put, leave it all on the floor. I'd say that the narrative with you guys all year has been, you know, obviously Ryan's going to get his, but who's going to step up outside of that? I know it was it was Ben the other night. Tonight, not really one person, a couple different guys at certain times, it felt like. Yeah, you know, we got guys that can score. Uh, you know, we obviously uh, Ryan is uh, uh, one of the uh, best players in, in the state of Iowa, but we got other guys that can score. You know, we got guys that can every night they step up and uh, they all know their roles and uh, they, they play good team basketball. Couple games left before we get to the postseason. How do you guys try to finish out the regular season? Well, we just got to continue to get better. You know, each and every day, day in practice, we got to continue to build uh, for that postseason. We've got a lot of a lot of tough games uh, coming up before uh, postseason's even here. So we just got to continue to get better, keep improving, and, and uh, get ready to go for that postseason.